What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Tuesday and um, you guys really enjoyed yesterday's video so I'm really really happy with that. Uh, when I saw the likes and the comments, you guys were really happy and you guys find the recipe very helpful so I'm really happy um, about that. Now this morning a package came in and I didn't know what it was so I opened it and then I had a pleasant surprise. I'm going to show you guys. So I opened the package, and this what was inside. So, as you can see, we got some Turtle Beach action. By the way, thank you to Turtle Beach for sending this to me. Uh, I really, really love it, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, this is the Mix Amp of the Uli Pro. LOL. Pro tournament headset wired. All right, so this is the headset that all the face guys use, and um, it is a really good one. So let me open it up a little bit with you guys. I opened it already because I was too excited, so I'm sorry, but um, I <laughs> I had some trouble figuring out how to open this package. Though I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I still do. Boom. All right, so once you get inside, we get this. This is Turtle Beach. The pursuit of perfection drives us here. Innovation is relentless and cutting edge is never enough. Together we are elite. This is dope. All right, so then we have a little bit of a literature, it says, it's like a little book. And this is the main prize. Look at this, guys. I'm not gonna put it up right now, but just look how nice this looks. I, I had them up before, and um, they feel like little pillows on your ears. You'll definitely not get pain when you game for so long um, on your ears, because it's such a soft cushion. All right, so that's the headset. Oh, I'm super excited to try this out tonight. All right, so we open it at the bottom. Open, and here is the mix amp. Um, so you can control um, the game volume, background noise, the outbound mic boost, and the mic monitor level. And um, this is another um, general volume button, I think. I've never used any of this before. So I'm really excited to try it out and figure out how it works. But um, yeah, super excited package today. I came downstairs and this was this big box. And I was like, what the hell? I didn't order anything. But then I opened it and it was this was inside. Like, what a pleasant surprise on this Tuesday morning. Um, I'm currently waiting on my friend Hughes. Uh, we're going into the city. He probably has to buy some shit. I really need to buy some T-shirts. So uh, hopefully we can get find some. I have a pretty um, decisive taste. I have like a pretty. I don't know. There's not too much that you can that you have here in the, like. In my city it's not that big, so it's really annoying. I can't really find clothes, but we'll we'll try it yeah. anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting on him, I'm gonna get a banana. I had breakfast, I didn't have oatmeal today because I didn't really want to eat it, um, so I might have that later. Um, weighed in at 69.3 kilos, um, which is, which is all right. It's not uh, super high, but we just still need to keep going with the food um while when we come back from the uh, from the city from shopping a little bit we got some chicken and i still have some vegetables from yesterday i think i'm pretty sure i still have that yes i do um so i can eat that um, make some chicken rice and vegetables again which i'm actually pretty excited to eat so uh yeah um i'll check in with you guys when we're in the city buying some shit, and uh, hopefully we can find something because i need it because my shirts are getting too small I'm no, I'm just kidding. Um, but they are getting too small though, so that's really annoying. What do you guys think, huh? This nice or no? I like it, kinda, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I never buy clothes, by the way. Never ever. Uh, we got one more shirt to try. Let's try. Yo, so he needs a map where he can write and stuff. So we find a good one, but it's 200 bucks. 
That's fucking crazy, bro. What? 200. That's fucking nuts. You know what else is nuts? This pencil. Come on, bitch. 85. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck pays that for a pencil? Who the fuck pays this? 200 bucks. It's fucking nuts. So yeah, we need to keep looking for this. What? You, lol, I'm out of here. Okay, and then, uh, and uh, ah, that's a And Hey. I don't trust you one bit. <laughs> Please don't touch me. <laughs> okay, but this is all nice, man. What the fuck? What is it, Mocha? Yes, Alright, guys, we're done shopping. We got everything we needed. Not really, but uh, we are at Soho, which is a Chinese place for sushi. And we got a little bit of uh, chicken, rice, and vegetables. Yesterday, I gave you guys that really easy recipe. This is even easier, but you pay more. But it's also delicious. Now I need some hot sauce. Let's get some hot sauce. Hot sauce! Now, with a little bit of hot sauce on, because it tastes very good. And um, it is uh, 2.30, so after this we're gonna go home and prepare for go to, to go to the gym. But this is a pre-workout meal now, so the chicken we have at home, we'll eat it after. Bon appétit, Gus! Bon appétit. Thanks, man. Goed? Ja, tuurlijk. Hey, hard, man. Hey, fijn dag nog. En hou ik op, man. Ja, thanks. Wow, 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 wow. Flex hem. Flex hem. Flex. Kip, kip. Ra. Nee, je kan wel uit. Weet je het zeker? Ja. We moeten naar de, de, de dingen zijn. Oké, okay, oké. Okay. We moeten naar. Why do I look so big in the mirror? I look so big. <laughs> Alright, guys, we are back from the city. Shout out to the dude uh, who took a picture with me today in the city. It was kind of funny. It's like actually the first time actually someone in public asked for a picture, which is um, quite surreal in a sense. But it was dope meeting you. Uh, we're walking to the gym now. I changed my stuff, clothing. So we're walking to the gym now, and it uh, should be good. Training some back today, some biceps, so we'll see. It is also very hot outside. Hey guys, quick commentary here, uh, some back training. Um, I'm showing you guys two clips of deadlifts and one clip of bent over rows. Uh, just because I wanted to show, uh, tell you guys that I'm doing with um, with deadlifts as well, uh, going a little bit more high reps as um, I, I, first I did like very low reps, like three to five and then one rep maxes at some point. Um, but now I wanna do a little bit more of hypertrophy range, rep range, so more of like eight uh, to 10 rep range. So I did this, um, this deadlift session I did four by eight and then the bend over rows, which is something I haven't done um, with a barbell on a, you know, a free barbell for a while. Um, I definitely want to do that again um, with a little bit of more of a closer grip so I can feel a little bit more of my traps. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, we did deadlifts, we did bend over rows. Uh, we also did some very standard stuff. Um, I did four sets of pull-ups. Then I did some um, um, straight arm pull-downs and some uh, wide grip pull-downs. So a very standard training for back, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I switched to, for, with deadlifts from uh, from very low rep ranges for more like strength training to more of a hypertrophy range, um, which, which is like 8 to 12. So I just wanted to let you guys know. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, by the way. Shout out to the homie who recognized me in the city. It was kind of... It was kind of weird. I'm a little bit awkward still when people recognize me, uh, even in the gym as well. So, uh, but yeah, always when you see me, make sure to come up to me and say hi because I, I'm an, I am a normal person. I am a nice guy, but I might I might be a little bit awkward just because it's really awkward and um, 
yeah, I'm not used to it. So, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys watching, um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Doodles!